All of the questions in this example can be expressed in the form fraction equals fraction and solved using cross multiplication. In part A, we have the equation 6 over x equals 2 over 3. Multiply diagonally across the equals to get 18 and write it down. Now multiply diagonally the other way to get 2x. Write this down too, separating it from the first term with an equals. Divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. This gives us 9 equals x. We should write our answer as x equals 9 so it is in proper form. In part b, we have the equation minus 3 over 5 equals x over 2. Multiply diagonally across the equals to get minus 6. Multiply diagonally the other way to get 5x. Write this down too, separating it from the first term with an equals. Divide both sides by 5 to isolate x. Our final answer is x equals minus 6 over 5. In part c, we have the equation x over 2 equals 9. When we cross multiply, we need fraction equals fraction. We can write 9 as a fraction by writing it over 1. Multiply diagonally to get x. Multiply diagonally the other way to get 18. No further steps are needed since we now know that x equals 18. In part d, we have 4 over x equals minus 12. Write minus 12 over 1 so we have fraction equals fraction. Multiply diagonally to get 4. Multiply diagonally the other way to get minus 12x. Divide both sides by minus 12 to isolate x. Four over minus 12 reduces to one over minus three, which is our final answer. It's considered proper form to write the minus beside the fraction rather than leaving it in the denominator.